Tonight on Frankie and Row TV, we bring you someone who is known throughout the world of television, film. He is also an accomplished author. Beginning his television career in the early 1990s on Fox's Married with Children, Hill Harper was destined for greatness, starring in such films as Spike Lee's Get on the Bus and He's Got Game. Plus, many know him for his portrayal of Dr. Sheldon Hawks in the CBS drama CSI New York. Hill has also impacted the lives of many young men and women around the globe with his literary works like Letters to a Young Brother, Manifest Your Destiny, and his latest release, The Wealth Cure, Putting Money in Its Place. It is my pleasure to welcome to Frankie and Roe our guest, Hill Harper. Hill, welcome to Frankie and Roe. How are you? I'm great. Thank you so much. Great to speak with you. Now, Hill, I covered a ton of ground in my introduction for you. People know you from your literary works and acting, but tonight I don't want to talk about Hollywood, but what I want to get into is your works striving to empower others. Now, many may not be aware that you are an advocate to uplifting at-risk youth with your organization, Manifest Your Destiny. Can you talk to us about Manifest Your Destiny and its service to young America? Sure. Manifest Your Destiny was born out of my first book, which was called Letters to a Young Brother, and the subtitle was Manifest Your Destiny. It's called Letters to a Young Brother, Manifest Your Destiny. And what I realized is that the book was reaching a lot of teens. It was targeted for teen males, and, and, and it was reaching a lot of teens and really touching them because I was hearing back from them. Yet I felt that I needed to do even something more programmatically uh, to, to help deal with the dropout crisis and empowerment around education. So what I decided to do was create a foundation called Manifest Your Destiny Foundation, not just for young men, but for young women as well. And my book, Letters to Young Sister, Define Your Destiny, came out after that. And, and so what we do is that we have a program in the summer called the Summer Empowerment Academy where we take uh, traditionally underserved youth who, who, are, who completed eighth grade and are going into their ninth grade year. We do it in the summer between eighth and ninth grade, and, and we, we, we hopefully get them motivated about different elements of education and, and really prep them for having a successful high school career. Um, the, the dropout rates and incarceration rates basically move together. So if we can affect the dropout rates, if we can keep more young men and young women in our communities and public schools in school and graduating, we can, we can have a great effect on, on the incarceration rates, decreasing those. And so uh, that's what we're doing. We also are working a financial literacy component, um, which, is, which is empower our youth movement uh, around this idea. A lot of our young people like, like to talk about money, and a lot of them talk about whether they have this money or they don't have this money, but most of our young people really haven't been taught financial literacy. So um, we, we, we work that as well. So those are two real strong components of Manifest Your Destiny. Now with a heavy schedule between acting and speaking, I know there are times where it's hard for you to find time to give back. Explain to us why giving back is so important to you. Well, I think that, you know, really all of us should ask ourselves the, the same question, no matter what we do or what, what position we're in. If, I, if you have resources, what's the purpose of having the resource if you don't use it to help someone else's life be better? And so for me, um, you know, I've been blessed with some resources and also blessed with a platform and it's up to me to u utilize that platform and utilize the resources to hopefully impact uh, other people uh, positively. Now, uh, if folks are listening to this, you may not be on a TV show or you may not have written a book or whatever, but if you're actually listening to this program right now, that means you have some type of resource. And so, it's, and, and you can help to your capacity. And so that's really what, what, what the challenge is. You know, I'm not that big of a celebrity. You know, there's a, a lot more people out there that are much more famous than I am. You know, it's when I walk down the street, you know, crowds don't gather. So, you know, my resources are, are, are what they are, and I have a platform of, of so-called some, some level of celebrity, but, but the, I tend to use that to its best ability. And, and hopefully it encourages other celebrities and other folks that aren't so-called celebrities to do the same. Now, in the introduction, I mentioned your latest book titled The Wealth Cure, Putting Money Back in Its Place. Can you talk to us about that book and what your readers can hope to expect? I'm very proud of The Wealth Cure <coughs> because the, excuse me, the, the response I've gotten from, 
from the book has been incredible. And, and people who have read the book, uh, you know, it's been transformative because the goal of the book was there's a, you know, out in the marketplace, there are a number of books out there that are straight nuts and bolts numbers books, financial literacy type books that are about, you know, make you almost afraid to spend a penny, you know. And, and then there are other books out there that almost want to talk to you as if you just know the secret somehow the money's got to find its way to you and flow down the chimney. And, and you know, in and, and both, both, both extremes, there's a problem with both, you know, because neither, the reason why you have money, money's a resource, you don't, you want to actually use it as a tool. You don't need to just grab it and say, I'm not going to spend anything. At the same time, um, you know, just hoping for it and having the right affirmation is not going to make the money flow into your pocket. So there, there, we have to figure out a way how to use money as a tool. And most of us have been taught that money is a result, meaning you do an activity, you get money for it, and that's the goal, rather than really what money truly is, and that's a, a tool like a hammer to actually build the type of life you want to build. So different, different, different of us need different levels of income, money, investment, etc. And so that's what building a truly wealthy life is, and that's really what the wealth cure refers to, this idea of not just going after money, but going after wealth true wealth, which includes health, it includes loved ones, it includes happiness, it includes experiences, all those things. And so so, so that's what the wealth cure refers to. And, and, and in that regard, for instance, I'm going to have a big event on March the 2nd that is uh, sort of a party for a purpose that's going to be a financial literacy type of party to raise money to help empower our youth by doing financial literacy uh, touring. I'm talking about money, how to save, et cetera. A lot of our young people um, don't even know how to use a checkbook. You know, they haven't, they, they don't understand what that is. They don't know how to, how to, to, to take a balance in a, in, a, in a bank account and deduct from the checks and, and put it into a certain category. So all of these things are vital. And uh, I think that we can be transformed in our communities if we're transformed in the area of money. Now, with Supporting Young America, you have an event coming into the Los Angeles area this March, and it features artists Duele and Shantae Moore at the historical Grauman's Chinese Theater. This event is geared at empowering youth and exposing all youth to financial literacy through a nationwide university tour entitled the Anti-Bling Blueprint Tour. Can you talk to us about that event and your upcoming tour? Yes, you know, the event's going to be a, 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 a lot of fun. You know, part of the whole idea, of, I think, when you want to have impact in some, you know, and in whatever area, you can't take the fun out of it. You know, you you want to have fun. So so this is going to be, you know, a party, a fun party. It's kind of got a, night, a Roaring Twenties theme. Uh, it's at the Grauman Chinese Theater, which is, his, you know, historic in Hollywood. It's going to be from 6 to 10 um, on uh, March the 2nd. And it's going to be a... A wonderful thing, you know. Like you said, Shanti Moore and Dwayne are going to perform. There's going to be cocktails and and past hors d'oeuvres, and and folks are going to get a chance to network. I'm going to speak uh, for a little while on the topic of financial literacy. Timothy Reese is going to speak as well, and and it, it's going to be an opportunity for you to learn. Now, um, Operation Hopes Empower Empower Our Youth Financial Literacy is going to be the beneficiary as long as, as well as Manifest Your Destiny Financial Literacy Program, and so. This is a way for adults to come out, have fun, have a good adult time, and also be uh, uh, seeding something with their investment and by coming to the party, um, you know, to, to help benefit others. And so, uh, you know, to me, having folks go to those rubber chicken dinners and you just get dressed up and it's the most boring evening and the food's not that good, that, those, that's a tired way to, uh, to, to raise money, and, and I think that's kind of a dying model. So, you know, why not do something a little different, have a good time, and, and approach it from a different place? Now, for those looking to support your endeavor who may not be able to make it to the Los Angeles area for your event, how can they support and get involved? The best way to support and get involved is to go to manifestyourdestiny.org, manifestyourdestiny.org. You can see what we're doing, and, and there's a way to donate uh, through PayPal um, to our programs. You know, the way that we've set it up is that, you know, the, the donations that come in, they, you know, it's not like these big foundations where uh, the donations get eaten up by tons of administrative fees. You know, it's a pretty lean operation. So the money that comes in goes out 
you know, um, I, I receive zero benefit, and, you know, I don't take any salary from my foundation or do anything like that. So folks don't have to worry about anything like that. And and uh, the, the manifestation.org and then empowerouryouthbenefit.org is for the for, for the specific event. But there'll be, um, there'll, there'll be a tag on the foundation page that manifestyourdestiny.org page. Hill, we want to thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule to hang out with us right here on Frankie and Row. Thank you so much. Keep doing a great job. And we'll speak soon. That was Hill Harper of CSI New York stopping by to chat with us about life and missions to empower the youth of America. For more information on Hill Harper and Manifest Your Destiny, you can visit them online at manifestyourdestiny.org. Also, if you missed a portion of this interview and you would like to see it in its entirety, Log on to our website at frshow.tv. This is your girl Rochelle. Let's get back into more love, life, and entertainment.